Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Happy Fifth Month. Back with more tea, back with another V, and we're gonna go right in and see what's going on with my water family. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see what's up. Okay. High power archangels, ancestors, gods and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my water family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, always and forever. I find archangels, ancestors of the divine white light. Strong gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now with that being said, let's tap in. Okay. So we're starting with Scorpio. Scorpio, you can have a Pisces in your chart, or you could be dealing with one. I feel like somebody's trying to compare themselves to you. I'm hearing them, she, it, they. Okay. Um, I don't know. Something about pronunciation. Um, I don't know. This could be somebody that could be a uh, transgender, ma male or female. Okay. Again, a lot about pronunciation. Or somebody could be bisexual or lesbian. Okay, take it out of it. Resonate. Let's see what's up. What's the energy for my Scorpios? There is some type of tower moment that somebody I feel like is shocked. Somebody shocked. Shock therapy treatment could be significant. Somebody could have had to undergo something drastic to remember some type of something like you know how you go a traumatic event happen or something similar might happen to you and you might you might remember something and of course you might say like oh yeah <clears throat> i remember the details of that horrific incident but like you might remember the main thing but you don't remember all the similarities or whatever but like it could be leading up to it like okay like say for instance something tragic happens to somebody and then it's like, you don't remember everything, every little simple detail. You might remember, like, the main thing that happened, but you don't remember all the details leading up to it until, like, it's replayed in your mind. And it's like, oh, fuck. That, you know, sounds familiar or that looks familiar. Okay, it could be something like that that could be going on for you, Scorpio. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini. I have Gemini in a chart. What's up with Scorpio? What's going on here? And injustice was done, okay? I was hitting on that. Some type of injustice you had to remember or endure. You had to face something, face a reality here that you were taking advantage of or that something had happened. Like, um, maybe it's one of those things where you kind of put things in the back of your mind and you don't want to think about it. You don't want to remember it. You don't want to understand why. You just kind of want to forget about it, act like it never happened, Scorpio. But something did happen here. Um, <clears throat> something, somebody's to your rescue, or some. I feel like this could be divine to your rescue. Something's coming your way, okay? You're holding on to some type of faith here, or you're having hope for something, okay? Definitely praying out to divine, reaching out for the stars, okay? Needing some type of answers, wanting some type of closure or gesture, okay? Five of Pentacles. So you could have been left out in the cold. You could have been down bad when you... Uh, it's, like, it's just like, so you probably need... I'm getting somebody who don't really need people, but when you do need them, they always leave you out in the cold. Or when you did need somebody, they left you when you needed them the most. Okay? Somebody wasn't around. Somebody wasn't there. Okay? Somebody didn't understand your pain and suffering here. You could have found out about some type of giving and receiving or things that was happening behind your back or somebody did. Some, somebody found out about um, something. It gave somebody strength and closure. It actually gave you this justice here that was um, caused by this injustice. So there was an injustice, but it gave you justice when you found out what you needed to know. Because it helped you become a better person. It's like it fueled your fire. Like It gave you all the strength that you need here, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. And when you found out somebody's true colors. Their true identity, how they really feel about you behind closed doors. This was something you needed to see because somebody was like wearing a mask. They really didn't care about you. Or this could be multiple individuals. This 
could have even been somebody you were in a relationship with or had uh, some type of partnership or giving and receiving, going back and forth or something like that. Scorpio. This was somebody you feel like had your back or this was a situation you felt like was you were solid in. <clears throat> Nothing could go wrong, kind of. But something definitely did go wrong. Something about a father not being there. I don't know if it's you or somebody. Mm. Somebody could have did something because their 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 parents wasn't around or they didn't have the proper role model. Okay, or somebody left you. Okay, because I could be talking about a child or this could have been something that happened to you when you were younger. Somebody could have left you hanging around like seventeen or. 17 years old could have been a significant time in your life. Like somebody like ran away. I don't know. Or was it you ran away or something here? It's, it's giving me like somebody was inspired to do something because they didn't have the, the proper role model or the proper person in their life to teach them. Or if they did have a role model in their life, this person wasn't honorable. I was looking for this card. Giving and receiving in reverse. Somebody is self-centered here. Somebody thinks about themselves or um, thinks about what's really not important. Or at the time, maybe you were important to somebody. You were not important to somebody, Scorpio. Okay. I feel like you're you escaped or you're escaping from some type of abuse, some type of torture. You refuse. Maybe it's you putting it out out of your mind and you not wanting to deal with it. Something could have escalated. So I feel like one of your decisions is are for some okay. So you could be making a choice or decision. Something could be difficult to deal with. Whether you could be running a one of wanting to run away or something. I wanted to leave somebody or leave a child or a child somebody left a child or something like that. Okay, Scorpio. Or this is I'm here stay and fight or, or like trying to find out try to find some type of solution. Yeah, you could be juggling these ideas right now. But you for sure know it was a, a, um, an injustice that was done to you. And you ready to like walk away and leave something alone. Because you know shit wasn't fair. But then you also want to compromise and, you know, move something over. Who is it that you got beef with? What is going on? Is it the same person that... This is somebody that's in the Knight of Wands and the, um, oh, this is somebody, Queen of Wands and the reverse. This is somebody you could care less for. Okay, you could rather not find this person attractive or you just don't like them all the way around the board and you're firm on that. You're, you're, yeah. You feel like somebody is like very hasty, loud, okay, confident, daredevil, overbearing, okay, reckless. You fell out of love with this person are you hmm, it's whether you took something from them or they took something from you they could have self-sabotaged or missed out on the opportunity you could have definitely been a blessing in this person's life and they fucked that up they fucked that up okay and i feel like you're defending that you're, you're defending the fact that they fucked that up you want somebody to know that they fucked that up it's like yeah you 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 fucked that up you did that, not me. It's something like that. But you, you, you're you wanting to move over something at the same time with this individual. And you're trying to find some type of peaceful resolution. Okay, we got the emperor in the reverse. <clears throat> King of Pentacles in the reverse. We got a rebirth here. So somebody's coming out of their shell. Somebody did some type of initiation. This king, this emperor in the reverse, did some type of initiation to be the, be a part of some type of gang or group or clan or cult or whatever. 
they did some shit here to be accepted. For people to accept them. Something is being illuminated here that somebody did something very fucking sneaky towards you or towards somebody else. Or they did something here and they're not saying nothing about it. But whatever this is, you get in, you're going to get some type of justice. Some type of justice is coming to you. So you could be going from an emperor in a reverse, king of pentacles in a reverse, to like a knight in shining armor. Or, let me clarify more. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this person here regrets not giving you an offer or regrets not telling you something or regrets not doing what they should have. There was an ending here. Somebody put something to an end, whether it was you put this to an end or this person put this to an end. It could have been with their actions. <coughs> uh -uh, come on out. What did I tell you? If you go back in my kitchen. I'm not started with you. So, let me see. Give me something for this emperor here. I feel like this could be an individual who could have lost out on some type of opportunity here. This is somebody who wants to be accepted, to, want to have some type of notoriety want people to notice them or kind of care too much about what people thought of them this could have been the same person who's sitting here fighting with somebody thank you one or two see I feel like this is a battle like somebody here wants to there's an emperor in a reverse here but this person's in a reverse is what I'm getting um because they regret giving an offer so they should have been honorable to you in the beginning but they were not Scorpio they did not give you what you deserve or treat you how you were supposed to be treated here and now this person is trying to make some type of change or this is you you're trying to make some type of change here Somebody dislike you because of that. I feel like you're trying to compromise with a person that don't like you and you don't like this person. They don't want you moving forward. They don't want you going towards, you know, whatever that's for you or becoming. Yeah, somebody wants you to be unhealed or is unhealed. Somebody unhinged. Okay. They they want you to do things the way they want you to do it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It's causing a tower moment in this person's life. Somebody could have did some type of sex me or love me spell or like me spell. Or be with me spell. Trying to convince somebody. Trying to convince others of you. Somebody could have recently took a trip. Somebody feels like they're uh, uh, inconsistent by the moves that they're making or the things that they're doing. Why they're still in this emperor in reverse energy is because somebody's like holding them back. They feel that. They feel like somebody is weighing them down or holding them back. And so they're trying to move forward here. But they're in this bondage. They're in this toxicness. Um, somebody don't feel liberated. They feel weighed down. And they could be choosing to, to walk away. But they keep they are indecisive or can't make their mind up. But it's because they're in this bondage. 
So it's like if somebody was to be able to break free from something, they would be actually very happy. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's unhappy right now or somebody's unhappy with you making this this choice and decision. That's that could be the reason why they want to hold you up or stop you. Somebody could know that they're kind of in your way here. But we have a change. Something's changing here. Somebody could be telling somebody no. No, well, if you come back over here telling you want something to eat and you already ate, you better go somewhere. Don't make me pause my camera. Girl, she do this every time. They better go. But then when I ask her what you want to eat, she wants that popsicle. That's what she wants. She wants a snack. Girl, please. I feel like somebody ain't trying to compromise. They want you to tell somebody no. They want you to not be in a relationship with somebody. That's the only way they're going to compromise. It's like, nope. If you go, it's like you could do anything. If this is you, Scorpio, you could do anything in the world. Or, or this person could do anything in the world. But if they say yes to a relationship or they decide to be in a relationship, somebody's going to be like, no, no, no. They're going to make all bullshit. They're going to cause all the drama or whatever. They don't want you to be in a relationship. We got two of cups in the reverse with a queen of cups and a no. A black gnome. Somebody does not want you to be in a relationship. They're like, I don't care if you go talk to somebody else and be with somebody else. And do this and do that. But you can't be with that queen of cups. So, like, somebody is, like, not going to compromise, basically. Like, I mean, this is all up to you if this is what you're wanting to do. Or if this is what this person want to do. But somebody's basically, like, no. So, somebody's having a rebirth here. There is changes, though. Like, I feel like somebody don't get the say so. They don't get... Go right away. Like, you, you can't determine somebody else's life for them. Because this Queen of Cups could be the main person that could be, like, helping this person. And this person is unable to fully become an emperor because they can't move forward um, and do what it is they, they're supposed to do. Yeah, sadness and regret. They're inspired, but they... they they're in a lot of sadness and regret. They could have regret the decisions that they made in the past. They could regret, like, what they're going through right now. They can want for forgiveness. Okay. Somebody feels hopeless. But I do feel like somebody's holding on to hope, though. They're holding on to the idea of celebrating and having something. Like, they fantasize about it or they know that's something that they want. They know that that's where they want to, you know, where they want to be or what they want to do. They imagine it. Like, somebody's manifesting it. But, okay, we have a ten of... like somebody wants to speak up somebody got something to tell you it's some type of news that they have to tell you Scorpio. they want to tell you that they like you and they feel like you're the best option for them or the best choice or decision that's what they're inspired to do. That's what they want to say. That they learn some type of lesson here. I feel like this person could be saying this now. Things got out of hand with a family here. Their own family could have been doing some shit. Things got out of hand here. Um, particularly with a queen of swords in the reverse. Had their hand and doing some shit to this person. Or, um. Whether it's somebody in their family was doing something for a Queen of Swords in the reverse or 
a queen of swords in reverse did something. Okay. This could have been like some heavy duty magic or witchcraft. But this person is like in the eight of swords. Like they're kind of mind blown right now. Um, They feel like things will never be the same in their life. Like it's forever changing. Okay. And it could be because of these secrets. Now who's going to let out in the code? Somebody here is getting left out in the cold. Ace of Swords. Oh, a high priestess in the reverse. So I feel like this is what somebody wants to tell you right now. They're trying to tell you this. Somebody's trying to communicate with you right now, Scorpio. I feel like they're 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 telling you this through this reading. Like they're telling you like what's going on, like. You know, how they feel, what they want to say to you, what they want to express to you, but they can't. What's going on right now? How they feel like they should, you know, solve the problem. Oh, they want to tell you that somebody put them in illusions here. They know it was magic that was done on them. They know that. They want to tell you that. Somebody's trying to steal the emperor or steal, like, the emperor's position here. I feel like this person is an emperor, but, like, he need his empress to be a fully, full emperor. Because he's coming out as an orphan. He's coming, a hierophant. He's coming out as somebody that's honorable. And we have the emperor here. I feel like this person was, like, placed in some type of illusion about being the emperor. Okay? Um, and making some type of demands. And so they could have decided to you know basically not go through with it but i feel like now this person wants to give you an offer here because they realize that magic was done on them how when where why they i mean that could be like a different story for another day but this person knows that magic was done on them there also was a ten of swords that happened to them there were some brutal endings that happened in their life that put them in a higher for energy Somebody no longer wants to be like this knave energy. Somebody that's, you know, kind of for themselves. A knave could definitely be somebody that's a manipulator as well. Yeah, this person is like rejecting. Rejecting offers or rejecting people. Undetermined to deal with like a family here. And this could be for money. Somebody could have been dealing with, you know, a family or a situation for money. Somebody doesn't want to do that anymore. Like whether it was to work together, because we did get the three of pentacles. That could have been working together. Or that could have been, yeah. And I feel like this is how this person ended up becoming the king of pentacles in reverse. They also want to tell you that they're in the Five of Swords about some type of investment. Something that they got their hand in or is it making investments with you? I think it's one of two kids. What is this? Something they did is causing blockages in their life. Scorpio.
feel like this is the reason why they're bonded. It's because they came together with somebody. Them coming together with somebody bonded them to somebody. That's why they sit back in this devil image. Like, they're bonded. They're not in the devil energy. So they're not in the, you know, they're not toxic. But they dealt with this two of cups in the reverse situation here. And because of that, this person, like, kind of fucked themselves over. They kind of, like, signed a contract by accident. They probably didn't know exactly what they were doing here. By deciding, you know, submitting to a certain individual. It's kind of was like alliances. This person was confused. They were definitely confused at the time. Yup, ten of swords and thief. They, I feel like this person went through like a traumatic event. And, like, they could have been confused and thought it was you. Or they were confused about who exactly did it to them. But they didn't know that the person that was, like, working with them or next to them, this thief, was the person who did this shit. So, it was the person they were in a relationship with. And what ended up happening is, they, I feel like they fell out of love with this person. Or this person fucked up on a blessing. Like, I feel like this person, this King of Pentacles slash Emperor energy, was the blessing. But because somebody was, like, sneaky and lying, or this is you, Scorpio, they were sneaky and lying, trying to block you, trying to stop you from moving forward, trying to put you in, in um, drama, or put you in a lot of chaos, doing sex magic, trying to put you in confusion, or in some type of whirlwind, trying to break your heart, leave you out here heartbroken. This is the main reason why you're going to have a rebirth here. Yep, higher for energy. Queen of Wands. And I feel like that's why somebody does not like somebody. And that's why this fighting is going on. So somebody here wants to cause a lot of tra drama and trauma. See, I feel like somebody been knew somebody wanted to go towards somebody or deal with somebody else. And so they was trying to block that all along. And like by putting, you know, using sex magic on somebody and doing all this other shit. So I feel like this is what somebody wants to tell you, Scorpio. Like, yeah, you know, I been had feelings for you. But, like, somebody, you know, had them under some type of deep illusion, deep magic, okay, playing on their traumas. And so I feel like this person here is trying to, you know, communicate with you, Scorpio, and tell you, like, well, you know, at this time I'm trying to get shit together. But they... By them, even though they were in confusion, even though they were in illusions, even though magic was placed on them, they still submitted to something. Somebody tricked them. And I feel like that's why Divine is giving this person the benefit of doubt and why this person is able to, you know, make that rebirth. But at the same time, you know, this person is, like, going through something right now. Um, that's what they, I, I feel like that's what they want to communicate to you like if they could tell you this they would if they could come to you they would definitely come to you and tell you this yeah try to see Could be a thief trying to manifest a high priestess as well. Trying to get a high priestess to make some type of choice or decision to cause a power. So if you're the high priest, be careful. But that's all I have for you. Thanks for chilling with your girl. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show to the channel. Thanks so very much. If this video has resonated with you, then you know exactly what to do. Peace, love, and prosperity, my baby. Till next time. Mwah. Bye. Hey, family. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, High Priestess Mar. Back on more tea, back on another read. And we're going to go right in and see what's going on for my cancers. Nope, nope. Cleansing the energy for my cancers.
Fight, fire, cleansing the energy for my cancers. What do they need to know? Cleansing the energy for my cancers. Somebody could be getting a dog. I'm hearing something about Toy Story. That could be significant. That could be somebody's movie or favorite movie or like a child's a children's movie. I'm also hearing child's play, Chucky, see the Chucky, the bride of Chucky. Okay, it could be significant. What's going on, Cancer? Somebody could have diabetes or stroke. Pancreatic cancer, liver cancer, liver failure. Okay, some of that stuff can run in y'all family. Be careful. Like, eat healthy. can have like that their um pink what is that it's like something in your stomach when they um a rub pink pancre pink something when it erupts though it's like when you get that pain by your pelvic area uh, can I get one or two, please? What's going on with my cancers? Okay, the fool. Something could be risky here. I'm feeling almost like you need to look deeper into something. There could be some type of illusion or illusion. For real. I feel like this is all good, but why am I getting the energy of like there could be like an illusion somewhere? Or somebody's doing something. I don't know if they could be trying to put you in illusions because I just seen a king and queen of wands in his deck. So, and then we got Emperor in the reverse. King and Queen of Wands, I just seen. Somebody could be trying to, okay, let's see what's going on here. Somebody could be sick, too. like you're doing something strategic here cancer but then again you're not you're thinking about what you're doing here but then you're kind of just going for something you want to take a shot at something some type of little save you feel like something is risky you don't know if you know this going to be like a safety net behind this or what you're just kind of jumping in and blindfold like you could definitely end up getting a short end of the stick and you know that but you're not trying to think about that part. You're just trying to, like, have absolute faith in whatever somebody's talking or saying to you. Queen of Cups coming out in the reverse. Emotional immaturity, insecurity, lack of trust, lack of direction here. So somebody's manipulative with their love and affection and emotions here. What is this? Ace of Pentacles. There's some type of money on the table or opportunity for an injustice or somebody got paid to do an injustice to do a job. Somebody had a duty to do. I'm hearing call of duty, duty crime. Um, yeah. Rebuilding in the reverse here. So some of you guys, I feel like you could be getting out of a toxic relationship. You know somebody is manipulative. You know they do sneaky shit behind your back. Whether this is a mother 
or whether this is somebody you were in a relationship with or this is how somebody views you cancer but in the past somebody could have did something here or kept replaying something or starting something new or taking a leap of faith towards something else I mean, well, towards someone, but I feel like now somebody's taking a leap of faith towards something else here. Yeah, somebody in the past, yeah, took a leap of faith of starting something over with somebody, not leaving something alone when they should have, or walking away when they should have. Somebody could have rebuilt immaturely with an individual here. They could have known that they were kind of like... This was not the best decision, but they, they literally took a leap of faith. Like, well, let me just see what this is going to be about. Let me just see how this is going to go. Let me just, let's, let's fuck it. Let's just see, you know, okay? And it could have had something to do with money. There was like some type of offer opportunity on the table here. Things sounded pretty good. I feel like somebody got defeated by the money. Like, somebody got defeated by the money here. Yeah, something was default. I feel like somebody's life kind of like went up in like shambles a little bit. Like it, it, it started out with like a lot of, lot of, like, like a lot of partying or having like a good time or seeming like things were really good. But then stuff started going downhill and it started going a little too fast. Before somebody could catch the wagon, it was already too far down the hill. Is what I'm getting. Like this was like a lot of socializing, a lot of gatherings, a lot of parties, a lot of cheers, a lot of drinking. Um, a lot of smoking, could have been a lot of sex, could have been fun, you know, at the time. But I feel like somebody got defeated here. Like, somebody felt like something was good, but it really wasn't good. We got the world here. That could have been what an illusion is. Yeah, somebody wrapped up a cycle. I feel like, I probably was saying, like, somebody did the honorable thing, or is showing this, this, this emperor energy. Because somebody did the right thing by, like, wrapping something up. Yeah. Delusion. Somebody's in some type of del Something's been diluted here. Delusion. Somebody's in delusion. Somebody could have think thought, like, something, or is thinking something. Like, take an instant, you know, this type of lifestyle was actually a good life, or was actually good, or great. And I'm not getting a person that's, like, you know took a leap of faith i'm getting like somebody else kind of thinking like this is a good life like uh it should be like this or something like that or like like nothing's wrong with the situation but i feel like it's very much so something wrong and it could be because somebody has a family with somebody so somebody's like well uh you know family is family this is a family you know work it out or you know whatever but I feel like somebody's like at that point where they're like, you know what, I, I've i tried to work it out or I've tried to do this, I've tried to do that. Yeah, I've tried to do this, I've tried to do that. I don't do that no more. I feel like somebody's breaking out of toxicity because they feel like there's other options or other blessings that's out there for them. They feel like this situation is no longer serving them. And I feel like they could be kind of keeping this a secret, kind of keeping this to themselves, that they, they're they absolutely not happy or it's nothing left for them in this situation. They're not, like, telling people this. Or are they not telling somebody, like, that they were defeated by the money? Like, the only reason that they wanted to be, in a, not even for the family. I feel like somebody was only giving or receiving for money. Like, this could be somebody that had a hand out and they wanted something. And so they went along with it because of the money. Not saying that they probably don't love their family, their kids, or whatever. King of Pentacles. This was some money. This was somebody who put that money in. in, in, in. You had to show them some money or something. Like you had to, like somebody had to pay them or something in order for them to do something or go along with something. They wasn't gonna do it without this. You know? And I feel like it was at that point where somebody could have fallen out of love with a gift or an opportunity that divine had for them okay because they put the money in front it was like okay i i i gotta think about this like somebody chose to fall in love with the money or be with the money so they didn't think about real love or the blessings that divine was going to give them see somebody had a whole lot of blessings that's coming for them 
Um, it could be they missed out on those blessings before because they decided to walk away. Yeah, somebody's no longer giving and receiving though. But somebody's keeping it a secret again. Or somebody's confessing something. Oh my nose is itching like crazy. Yeah, somebody's no longer in illusion. Somebody seeing everything for what it is. The sun is shining. Somebody saying, I can see clearly now the rain is coming. Yeah, this is this King of Pentacles. They see where they fucked up at and they see it clearly now. They're like, no, I understand where the fuck I went wrong at. Divine had blessings for me. God, higher power had blessings for me. But I ruined my own chances by going after something else because somebody dangled money in my face. Um, I mean, and this is somebody who their true character could actually be a true king of pentacles. That's this is somebody go get the money, go get the money, go, go get the money, go get the money, go. That's that's them, right? But they were getting the money the wrong way, is what divine is trying to show them. Like, yeah, it was an opportunity for you, and maybe you could have thought it was something good because the money was there. But that was really like bait for somebody. That was like bait. Somebody was like being wheeled in. So I feel like now somebody's like, you know what? I feel like, you know, this is kind of it for me. Somebody here might have to leave everything behind. They might have to leave like all their money or everything. Like if this is like somebody putting money into something to get paid back or... This is like somebody here doing something or people paying like somebody getting paid here. Because they clearly we have a giving and receiving at the top. So there was like some type of equal exchange in some, some way. Somebody's no longer giving here because they came out of an illusion. But the thing about it is I feel like somebody's going to have to leave something behind. Somebody's going to have to leave a lot behind. The fool. It's time to take another leap of faith. I feel like that's what high power is saying. Like, something was risky here before. And somebody could be feeling like something's risky again. And they could be having to take another leap of faith. Um, this King of Pentacles to, like, walk away. And I, I mean, like, leave everything behind. And refusing to compromise. Somebody's refusing for you to, for that to happen, though. It's like, even if you was to leave something behind, yeah, the lovers in the reverse, they're refusing for that to happen, even if you were to leave something behind, to walk away from them. It's like you can leave them with the house, the car, the money, everything. They don't care about that. They like, no, well, they do, but they don't, they, you could already not be working or socializing with this person. But some of you guys, you're, 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 you have your own business, or you're working on your own. You are having a two of swords. You're in this two, yeah, empress and reverse. You know this person is not your divine counterpart. That's what that is. You know this is not your love. And so you're unhappy. Yeah, the money, but when the money run out and when things go bad, it's like, that's not all you care about. Yeah, you want this. You want the lovers with the four of wands. You want all that, the partnership, the commitment. You know, the great sex I'm hearing, the love life, the chemistry, you want the friendship, the bond. And I feel like somebody here could be finding out that news. Like, I feel like you knew somebody was manipulative or you knew their motives or you knew that they, you know, were irrational or somebody that you possibly did not get along with that much. But it was, it was cool because it was like the money. It was like, okay, cool. Like. They got some good business plans. It's a good way for me to get some money. It's a good way for this and that and that. So cool. Yeah, I feel like somebody's regretting it now. Because they feel like it was all toxic. Like, it was, it was, it was, or like, I don't know, this person never really liked you. They never really cared about you, Cancer, or this person. Like, they didn't, I feel like they just wanted to make money off of you, or they wanted you to invest in something here. Or they wanted you, they were like paying you to keep you around, but they didn't like you. They didn't really care about you. Or something like that. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody you don't like either. She don't like, 
Like this is a woman. They don't like you being a king of the the king of pentacles and the king of cups. They don't like you in that energy. So what's this? I'm here. I'm here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. This no, this ain't cancer season. This Taurus season. We just enter Taurus season. We might be dealing with a Taurus. Or this could be around cancer season. I'm hearing Gemini too. So we need to be dealing with a Gemini. Nine of Swords. So somebody here is actually in the nine of swords because they don't want you to go off and um, get into another business adventure or another bit so you becoming this king of pentacles again so yep dang with the high priestess so I, I feel like whether your intuition is telling you this cancer or you're going to go get into a business with a high priestess um or you're this high priestess somebody want to invest in you and somebody's in the nine of swords about that because they know you're going to end up becoming the king of pentacles you're going to get a lot of money here and they don't like that that's why we seen it in the beginning they don't like that. And there's also an offer here. Okay. An offer of something. So somebody is refusing this. They're like, no. No way, Jose. You got me fucked up or something like that. Not a nope. Like, they're refusing that because they know you're going to make your own money. But not only that, you're going to be in a happy commitment. Look at that. Somebody likes you. And you could love somebody and they could love you. Like, you see how we had the Queen of Pentacles, we Queen of Cups in reverse, but now it's the Queen of Cups coming out in the upright with the King of Wands. Somebody loves you, somebody likes you, somebody cares about you. Somebody knows that. Somebody's like, no. No. There's a, there could even be an argument. That's why we've seen that Five of Wands kind of float, flew over there on the King of Wands. There could even be an argument over that shit. Like, somebody could be trying to discuss this or trying to tell you that somebody doesn't care or they're trying to... Somebody doing the dishes. I'm, I'm saying, like, bleach water. Somebody could be doing the dishes or somebody does dishes or something. Two of swords. Somebody's at a two of swords because of the decisions in the past. And because of some type of balance here. Options. The money knows they have options. They're weighing out their options. They're trying to see what's going on. A conversation. They feel like that's one option. Okay, tell me later. That don't need to. Again, I don't care. Okay, I heard you. The lovers is another option. Or this could be somebody that already fucking made their mind up. Or is already choosing here. This is like choices. This is what they're choosing to do. They're choosing to have a rebirth. They're choosing justice. They're choosing the lovers. They're choosing the eight of wands, a conversation. They're choosing to believe that things will be right, that things will be okay. We got the Ten of Cups and the King of Swords in the reverse. I feel like this is um, yeah. Somebody ain't got no choice but to be the Ten of Cups. I mean, the king of swords in reverse towards his family. Yeah, because of all this fighting and conflict. Um, they ain't got no choice but to kind of turn their back up on these people here. Something got too out of hand. Or turn their back on a, a ten of cups. Like, if this is somebody who had, like, a family with it, a person. Yep, yeah, change it. I feel like this is going to cause a lot of shit here. Somebody might even be, like, breaking up a, a home. Because remember, we seen the Ten of Cups. They got to have a family together. Somebody could be breaking that up. Somebody could be, like, like leaving. Their, I'm, I'm hearing leaving the nest. I don't know why I'm getting, like, baby boy. He was, like, talking shit to his mom. Oh, um, 
that movie with Therese, Tyrese. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. He's a Capricorn. Tyrese. Or have it in a chart. Then a, uh, I was going to say Ten of Cups in reverse. Yep. King of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's action. Uh, er, uh, wow. Whoa. Her power is saying that somebody is to be in this King of Cups in the reverse towards a family. This is the wheel in the upright. Chariot. That's why we have tower in the reverse. We have changes here. Somebody is to be this way. They have no, I feel like somebody knows this or her power is telling you like you have no choice to be the King of Swords to this ten of Ten of Cups in the um Ten of Cups. I'm gonna say in the family. I don't know if this is somebody you have a family with, or if this is like your mother, sister, brother, or like is this like your own children or somebody's own children? Give me emphasis on this Ten of Cups. On this five. Oh, this is somebody don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. So I feel like this is somebody that. They are. They don't want you to do that. Yeah, this is somebody you had a two of cups in reverse where you had a you had a family with somebody. Higher power is saying you have to do this. You have to abandon this. Wow. Somebody has to abandon their family. Y'all, I can, bro. I oh Lord, I'm never get on here and paint y'all face. We have the wheel coming out again. Her power said, this is a must. My ear is ringing. My ear is ringing. Her power said, it's a must. You have to. You have no choice. If you want to move forward, if you want this, you have to abandon that. Somebody don't want to do that. Heartbroken page of... Page of... Pentacles in reverse. Yep. And somebody's gonna be heartbroken about that. Cause I feel like they might have to look like leave their children. Oh no, somebody's heartbroken because you don't you don't care about them no more. This is this person. Cause you're not giving energy to them. You could be heartbroken. They probably don't even care about you like not giving to the kids or something. They don't they they're heartbroken because you you fell out of love with them and you're standing on it you're standing your guard you're defensive against them you're not giving no energy to them and they keep finding out news after news and this could be new news like that they have to leave you alone or you have to leave this person alone cancer they have to walk away from you have to this is the only way you move forward somebody's toxic somebody's weighing you down Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords. I feel like, let me see what this is. We got the moon coming out in the reverse. No, well, relax. I'm about to cook. Y'all hear her? I want to pop and go. She act like she's starving. She want a popsicle. Go get a popsicle, and then that's it. Nothing else. Somebody's on their way to facing judgment here. I feel like this is something that you're unaware of, they're unaware of. Somebody should have did some type of research on this page of this um I said page of pentacles. This queen of pentacles.
I'm here just to be there. Where are you now? Something, something. Where are you now? Sorry, kid. Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like somebody should have did more re Ain't no scissors in here. I feel like somebody should have done more research on this Queen of Pentacles or who they know to be a Queen of Pentacles or to have like some type of money or something here. I feel like now somebody has learned the lesson and it is coming out of this Ten of Swords here. This person, this Queen of Pentacles is on their way to facing judgment. Yeah, this was all blockages. Somebody only was the Queen of Pentacles or... They only were in that energy in order to cause somebody a blockage here. They didn't do a research on them being blocked, being with this person, and what could possibly be blocked from for them. And that's the balance. That's the temperance. And that's the working together and actually having something with somebody. Somebody seeing somebody having money or having some type of stability or having some money for the time being, but they didn't see why that person was having money or how they got that money. Somebody could have been doing manipulation, magic, all kind of shit to look like they got it like that. Or to even, you know, they could have been, I don't know how they did it, y'all. I don't know because I ain't nobody to be, I can't even tell y'all. So I don't want to play no games like that. But somebody did something. They, I don't know, bank fraud, I'm hearing. They did something. And it looked like they had a lot of money. They was coming towards somebody like, ooh, and somebody like, oh, yeah, you know, I don't really care about them, I don't really fuck with them, like, emotionally, yeah, I know I love such and such, or I know I got feelings for them, but you know what, I'm gonna kind of go towards this, because I need money right now, and this is what's going on, but see, higher power was trying to show somebody that there was a whole new opportunity for love and success and money and partnerships and everything, you know, and somebody didn't do the research when they did what they did or went off with they, you know, with whoever they went off with. So now somebody is to abandon a board mission. They completely walk away. This is the only way that they could. They got to completely walk away. How far I'm saying. That's the only way you'll be able to start your life over. I feel like this is a complete rebirth. It's like being reborn. Let me open this popsicle for this girl. I um love you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl. Bring it to me, girl. And if this video has resonated with you, please hit that like button, subscribe, or that share. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity, my baby. Till next time. Mwah. Bye. Hey, family. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, High Priestess Mar. Back from our tea, back from another read. And we're going to go right in and see what is going on for my Pisces. I'm here, my Psyche Pisces. Let's see what's up. My power, archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my family as we dip into this week. Please protect our energy from any unwanted spells, vibes, or entities. Cleansing the energy for my Pisces. Cleansing the energy for my Pisces. No. Ownership, taking ownership, I'm hearing. This could be like your biggest focus or your biggest concern or what you really care about the most. Or somebody being honorable, somebody standing up for something, for their rights, their beliefs, or even standing up for you, defending you or defending themselves or... Somebody, you tell, you could be telling somebody don't be a pushover. Or somebody could be tired of being a pushover. What's going on for Pisces? I'm here to fight back. Fight back. I feel like this is divine could be telling you this, Pisces. Fight back. It's time to fight the fuck back. This ten of pentacles came out crossing, so I don't really know how I feel about that, but I'm taking it upright. So this could talk about success, accomplishments, goals, okay? Something about a 
a living room or a dining room chandelier a lot of kids it could be like generational wealth or money being passed down throughout the family something with the family tree um inheritance we got the hierophant coming out okay so somebody definitely is honorable here with the emperor in the world so we're talking about some type of completion here yeah somebody's saying they're ready to sign the paper usher style i'm ready to sign the paper paper you can say but you give me no option girl oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yeah, somebody's standing in a King of Swords in reverse energy. Oh, oh. Whooping ass and taking names. Or right, whooping ass first and asking qu uh, questions later. Somebody's on anybody ass they feel like deserve it basically they don't really care can i get one or two there could be a lot of gossip whether about a family or from coming from a family about some type of generational wealth and how this generational wealth is supposed to come in and what's supposed to happen with it somebody could be saying like it's a certain way this generational wealth is supposed to come in here, and that is not how it's supposed to happen. Somebody could be saying that there's another family, or there is a situation here, because we got an unhappy home, a ten of cups coming out in the reverse. Somebody could be saying, like, this is where the generational wealth is supposed to come from. But that's not true. We got the world coming out in reverse. I feel like this is an ongoing battle, a cycle that's constantly on repeat. Um... Somebody could be trying to get to this, this generational wealth, or generational income, or this stability, this happiness. Or, like I said, this could be this fam a family here that's kind of gossiping about something. Whether somebody being in an unhappy home, or what somebody, yeah, I feel like it's what somebody perceives as justice. It's like, what you see as right is not what other people see as right, or what they see to be right. Like, somebody disagrees with what you're saying or what you believe or how you want to go about things. Yeah, when it comes to, like, your future, no longer in these hurt feelings or emotions or, or feeling, like, down about something here. But there could be a family that disagrees. At one point, you could have been heartbroken about something, okay? But now you're looking forward to the future or you could have been in some type of... A, you know, hurt emotions are finished, but now you're looking towards the future here. This family could be gossiping about, you know, you starting your life over, starting brand new. And you could possibly, this could resonate with cancers, Reed. You could possibly be leaving a ten of cups behind here. Or if not, then it's just, it's just these people that's being manipulative towards you. I feel like you could be un you could be apologetic at this time, but you gotta leave something alone. Look, we got the world, we got the world coming out in a reverse, but then we got the world in the upright at our um, page of cups. You could be apologetic, very apologetic about what's going on right now, but it's justice. Damn, yep. This is like a pullover from Cancer's Read. You feel bad about that shit, but it kind of is what it is. And, like, people are gossiping about that. I'm hearing, like, a lot of name calling. I'm hearing bitch-ass nigga. Something like that. Excuse my name. That kind of flew out. People mad. They mad, mad. They're upset because you're healed. Um, or because this is being put to rest. This whole situation here. Um, yeah, a two of cups in a rush. Y'all see it try to come out. People don't understand that this ain't even your choice right here. Yeah, it's your choice to be an emperor or to heal. But you got to walk away from something in order for you to do that. But it's not your choice. It ain't like you signed up and was like, oh, yeah, I'm walking away from this. No, it was like, 
oh, well, this is what you got to leave behind because it kind of comes with all this bullshit, all these problems and all this stuff. It's, it's somebody's having a whole rebirth. That's what I, you know, that's what I was saying over there in Cancer. Somebody's having a whole rebirth here. But there is a family that's gossiping about this, about some type of work ethics or working together. They're unhealed about that. They're very defensive about you working with somebody or having a partnership. They don't want to cause as much blockages as they possibly can. We got the Ten of Pentacles coming out reverse. I feel like because it's not bringing them no money. See, I feel like this Ten of Cups was connected to them. In some kind of way, these, this Ten of Cups in the reverse was going to bring these people money. And, but, I feel like they'll be down with whatever's going to bring them money. But because that's not going to, whatever you're partnering up with, or whatever, whatever, you know, um, you're coming together with, or whoever you're coming together with, that's not going to accumulate to them having money. And so that's why they could be possibly saying, like, no, stay in that Two of Cups in the reverse. That two of cups in reverse is your generational wealth. That's how you're going to get the income. And that's not true. That's the ongoing cycle. You leaving something behind and walking away, even though you could be apologetic about it, that's justice. Because this shit is all connected. If you was to stay in this, it's connected to these people. You will still be accumulating to their pocket in some kind of way. You won't have full-fledged freedom. Yep, higher pain in the reverse. And we clearly got the higher pain in the upright. So I believe that somebody's going to make a good decision here. Um, even though it might be something that's real difficult. This could be real hard for somebody. Yeah. Somebody saying, all I can take, but you leave me no option. You leave me no option, girl. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, bad news. Somebody's apologetic about this bad news. Illusions. Or they could be getting some bad news here. We had to take... Ch uh, oh, damn. I feel like it just keep getting worse and worse for somebody. Because it's like... Somebody not only... Not only is finna walk away, leave something behind, but somebody's also finna be the king of pentacles. Like, this is like registering, like, this is like setting in, like, somebody's like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? It could be this family. I feel like it was all about the money for these people. They're like, what you mean they're going to be the king of pentacles and I'm not going to be able to get none? Look. Fear of change, indecisiveness, restricted options, you know. Man, this was a bad choice and decision. They did something. They did. Noel, leave that chair alone. I'm taking that out of your room. You act like you don't listen. You leave it alone now. Every time you always... Girl, look y'all me recording. I feel like this person's unapologetic. Okay, but okay, we got the page of pentacles so. though. Somebody's apologetic towards you. Okay, Pisces? Somebody's apologetic towards you because they're getting bad news. Mm-hmm. But see, I feel like you're not apologetic. You're not apologetic. You're not accepting this apology. Yep, changes. Somebody's no longer an illusion. And you're not, yep. I just seen it. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's no longer an illusion here. Somebody's judgment no longer is cloudy. Somebody sees clearly. Somebody knows exactly what it is that they want, what they're going towards, what they're doing, uh, what they want in life, who they want to be with, what they want to do, a gift, an opportunity. Yep, coming out of hermits. Somebody's gonna come out of hermits. Somebody about to say something. Look, chariot. Yeah. Somebody's gonna say something about all this shit. A thief, somebody that's imbalanced here. Somebody's supposed to have a lot of balance or are supposed to be balanced in the situation, but they're not. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. 
It's an imbalanced person. You got the lovers. Emperor. They want to say something about this lover. I feel like a lot of people don't get their divine counterpart or don't get to be with their divine counterpart. And this person could have grew up with a lot of family members who are not, you know, married or are not with their their kingdom spouse or not even like in happy relationships. Somebody want to be happy. Or like you just show somebody, because if this is you, Pisces, you could have just show somebody happiness, bliss, you know, and they could want that. Look at that unhappy. This person is currently unhappy. They are pulling themselves out of a ten of swords. Okay. Yeah, this person is coming to some type of peaceful resolution. Are trying to put themselves out of conflict. They're trying to see what would be the best decision to come out of conflict. I don't know. This could possibly be with you. Be with the, with you. They could want to come out of conflict with you. I feel like with these other people, it's probably like a dumb diamond to just leave something alone. Yeah, somebody's firm with the nine of ones and the um, reverse here. Somebody is, you know, kind of firm on the world here, ending something out in the missed opportunity. I have in the reverse. This is why they're closing this cycle here. Got the world coming out here three times. Yep, this is coming out of illusion. You know, but it's heartbreak. Reverse. Somebody's understanding it all, like about the blockages, everything. You know, how they really care or how they really feel about somebody, letting their guard down, everything. I feel like somebody is really graduating right here. Man, somebody is really graduating here, Pisces. Like, somebody's like, they came. From like, yes, this King of Swords. They came from like, you know, being somebody that was like, could possibly be indecisive or making a lot of bad choices and decisions. But this person is standing in a higher frame. Like, they, they recognize their emotions, their understanding here. They're seeing things clearly. Okay, this don't have just nothing to do with a partnership, being in a relationship. This this has something to do with somebody's life. Somebody's meant to be, look, chariot. Y'all, how many times do you fucking see the chariot? Somebody's meant to be this hierophant. They're meant to stand in this hierophant energy. They're meant to be the hierophant. And that's what higher power wants this person to be. They want them to be the emperor first. Then they want this person to be the hierophant. This is who this person is supposed to be. This is supposed to be somebody who's supposed to teach people. Help people. Yeah. Show people the way. Empress in the reverse. Yeah, the wheel. I feel like this was all destined to happen. This, whatever happened in the past, you could have thought like it was a burden or it was hard. But I feel like it was really destined to happen here because this is where the lessons came from. This is how somebody's going to be able to help people. Whatever that was done to them with dealing with this emperor, this empress in the reverse is going to be the main way that they become that damn king of pentacles. Watch. Watch and believe me. That's going to be the main way that they become that. It's like somebody helps somebody become the king of pentacles. This family, this this person, you know. Or for some of you guys, you had an empress in reverse in your family. Like you could be a feminine here, Pisces. You had an empress in reverse in your family. For some of you guys, I'm speaking about a masculine here. And they could have had an empress in, an empress in reverse in their family. It don't even have to be nobody that they're in a relationship with. But I feel like it definitely does have something to do with family. And it could be somebody that they're in a relationship with. A false empress. We did see it, but it did not come out. So somebody who is not their divine counterpart. And I feel like 
And now it's not necessarily saying like this person, this input in reverse was toxic or anything. That's not what it's saying. But it is saying that this person went through like a ten of swords here, Pisces. And that this family here wanted this person to stay in something that they were not supposed to stay in. And it was causing blockages to their life here. And that they got to walk away. Now, over there in Cancers, it was talking about somebody being a little toxic here. And they had to leave somebody alone because somebody was very emotionally manipulative. And they were playing, you know, scheming them and plotting on them the whole time. They didn't even like them. So, if this Pisces reading resonates with you, go over there and check out Cancer. And this is all I have for you, my babies. This is definitely a pullover. The whole water sign reading is probably coming together. But this is all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl. I appreciate all the love and support. You guys show to the channel. Thank you so very much. And if this video has resonated with you, you know exactly what to do. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, prosperity, my baby. Till next time. Mwah.